Sign two, cut two. All in their prime. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this. Dang, that's a heck of a way to start the show then. Let's get it. Marcus Wheaton, Sammy Coates, Eli Rogers, James Washington. No hate to any of them. All love. I'd go 11 and 13. I'm with them. Go Marcus Wheaton, James Washington. Hmm. Yeah. I was either going to be Wheaton and Washington or Eli and Washington or Eli and uh, Marcus. One of those combinations. Yeah. Love Sammy. That's my dude. But once the fingers got hurt, it never got back. Yeah. If you were looking for some type of combo, maybe you could go with one of those receivers and Coates. For Coates being like the yeah. speed, so they got to take the top off. Like, can but I, get Coates? I don't trust them. I was. I need Coates, but he said in their prime. That's the other thing too. Because if that's All the case, the g- give me, give me Sammy. Was that that Jets game? I think it was. He had a really when good he, Chiefs he, game too. Or is she, okay, I was. I knew it was like he had two games early in the season before his fingers went bad. And he was like, "Yo, we were looking. Literally, this is what we had that conversation on the sideline. Like, all right, Martavis, who? <laughs> Dead serious, bro. We were sitting here like, okay, now." <laughs> Because the is, production is was Sammy, similar. Yeah, because we were like, yo, is Sammy really like that? And then we said, okay, is it really just Ben could create whatever receiver? Because that was the whole that was the other narrative going around. It was like, oh, look at A B, look at Martavis, look at the I'm like, dang, maybe that is real. Maybe he could just create Sammy Coles like that. And then when no fingers got broke, oh Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. This still wasn't a problem of him getting open. He could no, catch the ball. He could get open. That was the great, great separation, but when it came to catching, bro, it was just like, it was little giants. Don't do this to me, guys. Come on, guys. I, 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 I treat you nice. I wash. I do all these things. Like, bro. Well, I didn't know really the hands. Had for a little bit, man. I didn't know the hands were as bad until you told me probably, I don't know, like a couple of years ago whenever we talked about cuts, yeah. meaning like they were injured. No, I, yeah, I didn't know they were that bad. Yeah. I thought he just. Started developing bad no, hands, lost no, all of his confidence. No, dude, like I don't think they reported it really. They no, they definitely didn't. They he broke his fingers. It was it was probably in that Jets game because I must say that was when we had the throwbacks on playing against Fitzpatrick. Yeah, and he was still doing his thing, but I forgot when he broke them. And that next week in practice, he's over here like they got the stents on him and everything like that, trying to keep his fingers letting them heal. And this is where I personally didn't agree with the organization in terms of how they handle Sammy. They hit Sammy with the, yo, you still need to come out here and practice. You need to be on this field. How is he going to be on the field and practicing as a receiver if he has broken fingers? They're never going to heal. So they're like, oh, yeah, ring her out. You know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll throw it to you in certain cases or we'll do this and things like that. And we're just watching him like, bro, this is stupid because he's never going to get a chance to heal him. And then you're going to put him back out there on Sunday. And literally, we will see throughout the week in practice. Fingers getting worse, drops, drops, worse. Then he started trying to like body catch because he can't use his fingers. And we're like, bro, what are we doing here? But they kept putting him out there. And then they were like, well, because of your speed, you could be the decoy. Oh, you can give us some help on special teams as well. So you don't need to sit out for your fingers. Just keep playing. And we're just like, bro, what are we doing here? That's yeah. a shame. It, it is, man. But that's, and that's not just a Pittsburgh thing. Don't, don't think of it as like a negative just here. Like it happens everywhere but that's part of the reasons why us is like older guys would always tell younger players like you got to be smart like i understand it's an opportunity i understand they're going to try to get you back out there and tell you whatever you need to hear but bro like if you would have just set for like two to three weeks just imagine how different that is for him versus him trying to play through those finger injuries and what it started to look like towards the end in contrast to what it was at the beginning of it yeah 